Good morning and welcome again to my study on this Wednesday morning. Well, it's been an exciting week at the Abbey and this week is going to be exciting as we go on. On Saturday, as honorary bus monitor for the Abbey, I was lucky enough to take 30 of us on the bus to the cathedral for Jane's ordination as a priest. Now, I want you to know, first of all, I counted them on and I counted them off and I didn't lose anybody. That's very important as on a bus monitor. Did I mention that? Anyway, it was a wonderful service. They ordained 16 people as priests. The cathedral was absolutely packed, as I'm sure you can imagine. It was the most wonderful service. The ordination was wonderful. We heard a really, really good sermon from the lady who is the warden at Holland House. And we sang some wonderful hymns. And at the very end, there was so much clapping and whooping, they may need to repair the cathedral. But it was really wonderful. And of course, it was lovely to see Jane and for me, some of the people I knew. And of course, they now embark on their ministry as priests. And so... On Sunday, Jane took her first communion service. And again, a lovely, lovely service. She was wonderful, as we've all come to expect. And after she'd taken the service, there was spontaneous applause, of course. But then, of course, we went into Abbey mode. And so we had, I think it was Carver, and of course, a cake. And both were delicious. And everybody stopped and enjoyed it and we all said well done to Jane and hugged her and all of those things we do at the Abbey that make it such a special place. So there we were, 30 of us, well there were more than 30 because lots of others of you came in your own cars or I think David took his bike again and it was really wonderful to see us all. We were at the back but we could still see and to celebrate like that and then to celebrate Jane's first communion on Sunday was absolutely amazing so really a very exciting week and it did make me think how wonderful the Abbey community is. As a family we love to celebrate, as a family we love cake and we love drink, usually coffee, I hasten to add that and we just love to see our people enjoying themselves and wonderful to greet Jane into the priesthood. So let's thank God for all of that. And of course, although we have amazing busy services like that at the Abbey of Cathedral, we also do gentle services, quiet services. Iona, wholeness and healing. Our midweek communion at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday in one of our site chapels, lovely. So the Abbey has both those joyous big occasions, but then the quiet and peace of that wonderful building. So this week was wonderful, I'm certain all weeks will be wonderful. And of course, tomorrow is our general election. And I hope all of you are ready to vote. Don't forget your picture ID, otherwise you have to go home and find it and come back. I hope most of us will vote I remember my parents telling me when I was born after the war and when I could understand them how important they felt it was to vote because the war had been about making sure that democracy continued in Europe and I think that still applies for us today perhaps even more so with all of the trouble in the world so don't forget to vote tomorrow and of course the Church of England has prayers for the general election but Let's do that tomorrow and let's spend the rest of the week celebrating our wonderful week. Thanking God for Jane, thanking God for the Abbey, thanking God for all that we share. And I hope to see you later in the Abbey. I'm sure it will be just as exciting.